Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt, been a long time. Today I am talking about the new Netflix original movie, Bird Box. So this thing isn't on my head for no reason at all. I figured I'm going to do a blindfolded review because when's that ever been done? And obviously blindfolds play a big part in the movie. So give me a sec. Tighten that up. Bird Box is Netflix's new original movie uh, directed by Suzanne Beer, starring Sandra Bullock. The movie is being touted as basically being a sort of horror suspense thriller, um, and a lot of people are kind of really buzzed about it, think that it's a really, really great movie. The story basically revolves around a post-apocalyptic event. Uh, the essential premise of this one is that there are these beings that appear that if you see them, you then want to commit suicide, like just something takes over and you commit suicide. Um, so obviously, when you're out and about, you need to blindfold up so you can't see them and then you won't be inclined to commit suicide. The film's one of those where it kind of goes a bit back and forth. It kind of starts off uh, with Sandra Bullock kind of doing what she's doing, then it's like, ah, oh, five years earlier at the start of the event and the film kind of chops back and forth. It gets a little bit annoying, personally, I thought. It, there's no real kind of reason for it to keep going back and forth like they could have just told the story in a complete linear fashion and the film would have probably been better like you're kind of just getting into something and then it either cuts back to like the now or you're just getting into something in the now and it cuts back to the the five years beforehand and I don't know for me it, it just didn't work it just got really annoying I think it would have just been a lot better if they just kept it linear. Now, surprisingly, the movie uh, has a bit of an all-star cast. You've got Sandra Bullock, uh, you've got John Malkovich, and then you've got a load of other actors and actresses whose names I can't remember. Normally, I'd be able to look at on a screen, but, you know, viewing blindfolded, this is what happens. You would have thought, though, with the likes of Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich in this movie, that you would be getting some, like, absolutely stellar, amazing kind of powerhouse performances. But, in all honesty, I've seen better performances in other apocalyptic movies. There was nothing outstanding or special done in this movie by anyone. That kind of goes for the movie as a whole. There is just nothing outstanding or special about it whatsoever. At no point was I scared. At no point was I on the edge of my seat like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? With a two hour and four minute runtime, I, you know, would expect to be gripped at some point, but I just never really was. Even when there's kind of like imminent danger from these beings at no point am I like oh no I'm terrified because the film started with five years in the future I know Sandra Bullock's gonna survive if everyone else dies like yeah okay fair enough whatever I don't really care though it, the main character Sandra Bullock and you've shown me from the get-go that she's fine so you know throughout all the like beginning of the nightmare thing I don't care I know she's gonna survive so yeah I think what could have been done to have sort of built up a better kind of more tension is if the creatures or whatever they are was explained a bit more. Um, minor spoiler here, you never find out what they are. You kind of see some drawings of them because some, uh, another kind of side note spoiler, some people, crazy people can see them and then rather than be compelled to commit suicide, they are then compelled to make other people see them so that they'll commit suicide. And there's this one crazy guy who draws some pictures of them, so you kind of see what they look like, but you never actually get to see them. There's never any sort of explanation as to why they're there or what they want. It's just like the end times. Now, I can forgive that. There doesn't always need to be an explanation. Walking Dead, we still don't know, you know, what caused the zombie apocalypse. We, we don't know why it happened. And I'm fine with that. Sometimes, you know, the monster doesn't need an explanation at all. But the film has to be good in order for me not to care. And this just wasn't that good. So, I uh, have to give Bird Box a rating then. I am going to give it a 4 out of 10. Honestly, the performances from the level of cast who were in it, I expected a lot, lot more. The story just didn't grip me. I just didn't think it was interesting. I've It's, it's nothing new. It's nothing that hasn't been done before in other post-apocalyptic movies. And it's definitely been done a lot better before. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Have you seen Bird Box? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do give the video a like. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, do hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care.